Have you ever wondered if you can do hot module reloading in Python? And how hot module reloading will completely change your developer experience as well as improve your productivity a lot. Let us see why we need to do hot reloading, how to do that and then we will get into a quick demo. Whenever we are running some Python scripts or uh, web server or a data science uh, script, we have to do some changes to a live program, stop the process and then we need to restart the program. This will waste a lot of developers time and it will become a kind of a bad experience. But if we have hot module reloading we can just edit the process while it is running we can see the results in live and we can simply uh, see the results also live and uh, we can speed up the development process as well as improve the developers experience so if we see how to do reloading there are uh, uh, several modules in python that uh, do uh, hot module reloading there is one uh, package in particular uh, called as reloadium that does hmr really well so this reloadium package is available uh, from pyp we can just pip install it and if you are using pycharm there is a plugin called reloadium we can just directly install it uh, in the pycharm now let's see a quick demo on how this hmr works and how it will improve developer experience as well as the productivity i'm just going to increase the font size okay now we see a simple program called uh, dynamic.py which just has three lines of code fetch data process data and it will print the result fetch data will fetch some data from other module process data is just computing squares of the given data and it is returning the result now Let's run this program using PyCharm's run button. We can see the result is empty here. Now we don't really know why the result is empty. So what we can do is we can just put a debug point and then see what is happening here. So first we can go to fetch data and then let's put a debug point here and then let's run the program again in pycharm's debugging mode so i'm just going to click here and the execution has stopped at this debugging point i'm just going to step over and we see we have some data here and i'm going to step over again and now let's step into this uh, process data and if i step over again we can see it is entering into exception block this is happening because there is an element called none and there is also another uh, element too which is in a string form since it cannot calculate uh, squares for these values it is simply entering into the exception block now we know what is the error let's try to fix this issue so i'm just going to stop this um, i'll just uh, filter out all the non integer values so i'll just say squares equal to num for num in data if is instance num in yeah so what i have done is i'm just filtering out all non integer values and then running the uh, square of those numbers so i'm just going to rerun it and this result is still empty 
now uh, let's put a debug point here and then let's run it again in debug mode all right we don't need this debug point anymore i'll just skip that and we are here i'll just step over and we can see squares has just the integer values and if i step over it is still going to exception um this is happening uh, because uh, in the next line here we are using uh, data to calculate the squares uh, instead of using uh, squares since we have assigned uh, a variable as squares here we should be using this variable instead of uh, data so i have fixed that bug as well now i am just going to stop this and let's rerun this yep now we can see the correct result so we can see this is a simple program with just two functions and yet to find out what is the root cause and then to push a couple of bug fixes we have started the process in run mode as well as in debug mode multiple times and we have spent a lot of time here let's try to do the same thing but with the reloadium so i'm just going to revert all these changes here i will just put a debug point at the last uh, uh, line of the script uh, it is already there and uh, since i have already installed reloadium plugin from uh, plugin store there is a run and a debug button which is provided by reloadium here and i'm just going to hit debug button so we can see now uh, the script is running uh, uh, inside a reloadium and the process has stopped at the last line of the program and the result is empty and we can also see uh, from here the data that is fetched from the other module it has none as well as string values so we can simply go to process data function and we can just filter out non integer values so i'll just say squares equal to num for num in data if is instance num in yep so what we have done is we have uh, filtered out all the non integer values and this is where uh, reloadium comes into the picture since we are editing a live program as soon as i save this uh, uh, file it will automatically apply those changes and it will show the uh, results in live so i am going to just uh, hit the save so we can see uh, there was a flash which means it identified the changes that we have made reapplied the changes and it is showing the results right next to the uh, relevant uh, lines of code and the result is still empty so we can go back here and as uh, uh, we can see we are filtering out the non integer values but we are still using the old data so i'm just going to replace this with this and i'm going to save this again and yeah we can see the result instantaneously here so with the reloadium we don't have to uh, stop and then start the entire process every time we make a change to the code this is where uh, reloadium saves a lot of uh, developers time and uh, it will improve uh, productivity of uh, developers the demo that uh, i have shown now is just a simple function with uh, uh, is, sorry it's a just a simple program with the two functions and we can see how much time it has improved take an example of a large code base let's say uh, you are debugging something in a django request or uh, you are uh, debugging something in a large data processing pipeline imagine how much time it will take you to stop the process start the process and then uh, how much time it will take you to get the program into a desired state instead reloadium can preserve the state of the program we can just make some changes on the fly it will show the instantaneous result and we can just uh, uh, proceed with the development from there so 
the, that was a quick demo uh, of for Elodium. And uh, if you are coming from uh, uh, web development world, you might have heard about uh, Flutter Hot Reload or React Native Hot Reload. Uh, even Android Studio and Xcode also provide their own uh, uh, way of uh, reloading the code, which will greatly improve uh, developers' uh, experience when uh, we are making small changes. Similarly, even in Python world, uh, this uh, Reloadium or any other hot module uh, plugin will bring a lot of value to the developers and it will greatly improve your experience so that's it see you in the next episode